All right, so we have section 4.4 now. And our objective today is to draw an image with a given pre-image, that's what we got here, and then write a description of the sequence transformations on the coordinate plane, and then describe the transformation on the coordinate plane using some written descriptions. That's just like words, that's not the algebraic description or nothing like that. So that's what we're gonna do in uh, today's today's uh, lesson, All right? So say for instance, we have this quadrilateral. Okay, and this is quadrilateral, we'll call it uh, CHMW, All right, on the coordinate grid. And, and it wants us to do two translations, All right? I guess we can get rid of this now. It wants us to do two translations. The first translation it wants us to do is a reflection. It wants us to reflect it, reflect, reflect, frost, across y. It wants to reflect across y axis. Okay, and then it wants us to trans uh, translate, translate it. Translate, translate, uh, three left, three left, and then one up, one up. All right, so um, let's go ahead and how, how would you do this? So there's a couple ways you could do this. Well, um, if I wanted to see the kind of what it would look like, when I'm done, right? I, I could just go ahead and like grab this, right? I could do control, copy, control V, right? And then I could go ahead and uh, rotate this thing and flip it or like that, right? So that's a reflection. And uh, yeah, let's see, make it a transparent thing here, right? And then I could line it up and I could, and since I, I know that W is right there on the the y axis I could just line up w with it and I would know that that's kind of like what it would look like a little bit kind of like that right and then so that's my my initial one and then I would have to go uh three up and uh three left and then one up right so I'd have to go one two three and then one up. So that's where it's gonna kind of like end up somewhere in there, right? So that's kind of neat. I can use that with Microsoft Word or a paint. It's gonna end up like right there-ish, okay? But I wanna do it a little bit more mathematical. I can, you could do that with patty paper too, by the way, um, if you wanted to, All right? But I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do it a little bit more uh, with a more controlled approach, right? So I'm going to go my my first coordinate pairs, right? I'm going to say, it's, like I said, it, it was going to be C, H, uh, M, W. So my first set is C. Oh, I need a make a pencil. Grab a pencil. It's going to be C. Needs a good old fatter line. C. Maybe even better than that. C. H M W. Okay. And then my reflection across the Y axis. Well, if you can remember what the reflection across the Y axis is, right? Your algebraic expression, if you can recall, is X comma Y yields. And then you know that your reflections, your X and your Y stay in the same place, X comma Y. And what changes? What changes when you reflect across the Y axis? Well, the X changes. The X changes. So it's negative X. So reflection across the Y axis, your X changes value. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, copy down first all my points. So my C point is X is one, one comma. I'm not gonna put the commas in there. I'm just gonna do one, one. X and Y values, one, one. H is gonna be four and two, four comma two, 
see if it comes out. M is seven and negative one, seven and negative one. And W is zero and negative two, zero and negative two. Okay, I'm gonna make an orange one my next, my next one. I have an X and a Y for zero, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this to help me. It's over here, and that's I'm gonna use that to help me decide what my X and my Y values are gonna be. All right, so. Um, I'm going to go, all right, well, my x's are going to be my negative x's. Those are going to be negative 1, negative 4, negative 7, and negative 0 is still 0. Then my y's are just going to be transposed. 1, 2, negative 1, and negative 2. And then these are all my c prime h prime, why did I put a four, H prime, M prime, and W prime. All right, so let me go ahead and log and, and plot all these. So negative one, one, that's my C prime, that's C prime. All right, uh, negative four, negative four comma two, negative four comma two is my H, H prime h prime and then i have negative seven negative seven comma negative one negative seven negative one is my m prime m prime and then zero negative two is my is that one so why is that separated by two did i mess that up all right negative four two negative four two one one skinny why is that oh well i guess it might be right all right so let me go ahead and connect the dots little little fatter let's do that one okay that there that there and then this here and this here i guess that looks all right so it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I suppose that's right. Okay. All right. So that is my first image. That's my first one. It's my reflection. All right. Now I have to translate this three up and or translate three up and one left. All right. So I can uh I can do this um with just a mapping. It's pretty easy. Um, I could so, but if, I'm gonna go ahead and show the the, uh, the algebraic expression for this anyway, All right? So my algebraic expression for this, it can be x comma y, right? Equal is gonna yield x plus minus three, minus three, because to the left is minus three, and then comma y plus one. All right, so let's go ahead and move all of these. So let's start with M. It's going to be minus three. One, two, three. That's going to be M double prime. All right, let's go H. Let's got to move it up one. Okay, so that's going to be M double prime. Okay, I'm going to move this over three. One, two, three, H double prime. C, move it over three. One, two, three, and up one. So it'll be C double prime. And this will be move it over, move it over three. One, two, three, and up one. This will be, uh, this was going to be W double prime. All right, and then connect them with some lines, some straight lines, there, 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 and there, and you'll
you'll see that that is my final uh, image. Uh, all done right there. Okay, so that is a pretty straightforward way of how to do that one. And uh, we might move on to another example here after, after that.